My name is Sean. I am the Crypto Smith. Thank you for stopping by the channel one more time. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel grow when you guys watch, and I appreciate all your support. This is going to be an update on MetaMonkey AI. Obviously, you can see on the screen here, they launched yesterday, about 11 a.m., uh, approximately Pacific Standard Time, and it was a successful launch, right? It, it happened like it was supposed to happen. There wasn't any delays. There wasn't any issues. Uh, we had a nice little bump here. And then, you know, people take profits, not a big deal, you know, came back up, people take more profits. It's all good. This is the sign of a healthy launch and a healthy chart, right? We want to see some price action and then we're going to see, right? And I didn't take profits, but we're going to see people take profits at that point. That's inevitable. It happens every time. It's completely normal and healthy for that to happen. And then people start buying in. So more people sell off and takes profits. This is what happens during launches. This is totally normal and expected. And I do appreciate this type of chart. And we're going to go sideways and build a little bit as we get some exchange listings. And speaking of exchange listings, uh, let's go to the Twitter. There are three that are on the way that should happen fairly soon here. And they are Bitmart, LBank, and BKEX. So these are these are not small exchanges. These are good exchanges uh, to begin with for any new token. So uh, we're really looking forward to that. That is going to help this price action. Also, we should get some more interest and uh, normal launches for new projects don't normally have exchange listings like right out of the gate. And that's what's really cool about MetaMonkey AI. Uh, it makes me feel good that the team has been working on this obviously in advance and didn't wait till launch to start talking to exchanges to try to get listed. Uh, they did all of this stuff up front. So kudos to them. And keep in mind that this isn't the team just announcing that we have some, uh, we have these uh, uh, listings coming soon. These are the exchanges themselves have put out these listing notifications uh, like BKEX here, right? It says Money, MetaMonkey AI upcoming new listing. So that's where we're at with this. Uh, I mean, nothing but good things. We're also expecting a wallet to drop sometime, I believe, in the next week or so. And that is going to be the online and offline wallet. Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe we can see that here. Yep. The online offline MMI wallet phase one coming soon. So something else to look forward to really uh, in the near future. So something else great to look forward to something to play with, you know, get your hands on and actually see some real utility uh, th that this project is putting out right out of the gate, which is, uh, which is awesome. I mean, it, it is, I, I don't know what to say. You know, normally you're waiting for for weeks uh, or possibly months for exchange listings and then for real utility to drop uh, on any of these uh, new projects. Usually it's months out and that kind of well, it does get projects in a little bit of trouble because uh, why? Because if you go back to the chart here. Uh, normally on new projects, you're going to see this kind of action and maybe it goes a little higher and it's there's a lot of hype around it. But then it flatlines and then it starts to decline over a period of weeks and months with not much communication. Uh, nothing coming out, no exchange listings ready to go. And that's what starts to get the community in trouble. And that's, I want to talk about uh, community attitude uh, real quick. And I know there's, you know, unfortunately you always have some back and forth. There's always going to be haters out there. There's always going to be that group of people that it doesn't matter what the token is. It doesn't matter what the project is or who the dev team is or, or who is promoting it. None of that matters to them. If it's a new project in crypto, they think it's a scam. They think it's a uh, rug pull. They think it's just another useless token. You know, they don't do any due diligence on their own and actually research what the project is, what they're trying to do, the companies behind it, the people behind them. Uh, so keep that in mind and and try not to, inter, you know, engage with, you know, those negative people out there in the in social media world. It's hard, I know, if you're trying to defend your turf, but let's not be maxis here, right? There can There's plenty of projects out there that I hope are successful. We all hope are successful, because uh, that's what we need in this space. We need good, successful crypto projects to help push adoption forward, to get more people involved and to build that trust factor and uh, you know, getting away from those projects that 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 are all hype and then promise you know utility and promise dates and they keep missing and missing and missing. And then that really does destroy the community. Um, you know, and, and your token value is down so far that you you have no choice but to defend that, you know, to to the death uh, because you've put all your money in there. So that's what I'm hoping with this community. We can stay positive, right? We can keep things looking on the bright side uh, and 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 look forward to what's going to happen next. And then also we can keep the developers uh, and the project managers here uh, on their toes and keep them honest about what they say. And I do think that MetaMonkey AI and the dev team 
as far as I can tell right now, is going to do a, a good job at communicating, number one, and then following through on what they say they're going to do and not making promises before they've you know actually signed deals and agreements and have everything in place. So uh, that's one of those things that you have to learn uh, from projects of the past, you know, on what not to do, what things kill communities, what things drive negativity, and then do the do the opposite, right? <laughs> do the things that that keep things positive. So, and one other thing to keep in mind on this chart is that you know we're in an era right now that the market is just really in a not good a not good space, right? With inflation out there and high prices and you know and and wars going on and and droughts and all that, it's we're we're in a we're in a tough spot in the in the financial market. So. Uh, for the for this chart to be doing this is is awesome. And keep in mind that it's been a while since we've had, you know, new launches of new projects, right? You know, there was a time just six months, you know, a year ago where there were projects literally coming out every single day. A lot were pumping dubs, you know, a couple of them were legit projects and, and they're, you know, struggling right now. Not to say MMAI doesn't struggle. You know, I'm sure there's going to be some rough times ahead. As long as we stay positive, we keep moving forward. I think we're going to be just fine. As far as social media goes right now, uh, MMAI, MetaMonkey AI has 2,625 followers, and I believe 1,500. I'm just checking over my other screen here. Let's check out the Telegram, and that's going to be almost 1,500 members on Telegram. So growing at a good rate. Go back to the chart. We can check total liquidity right now is locked is 2.55 million and 4.46 or about a four and a half million market cap. And this amount of liquidity locked right now, this early is phenomenal, right? You don't know how rare this is. You see, you'll see some projects with a $4 million market cap and they'll have maybe a million uh, locked up or even less sometimes. So this is a good, healthy project and a healthy chart. And I hope we continue the move onward and upward so that's going to be my update for MetaMonkey AI, the launch we had, the updated or the update on the uh, three exchange listings we have coming up soon, the dropping of the online offline wallet, which I'm really looking forward to playing with. All right, that is going to do it for me. I will see you guys on the next one.